All right, so a question that you might be asking yourself is, why don't we see eclipses every month? If the you know, new moon phase can create a solar eclipse, why doesn't every new moon create a solar eclipse? And the answer to this question is that the moon's orbit is actually tilted by about five degrees with respect to Earth's orbit around the sun. And so based on where this moon is positioned with respect to the Earth and the sun, it may or may not actually be able to block the sun. So as I've drawn it here in this part of the orbit, um, it would actually be higher above the solar disk. And so we wouldn't get a solar eclipse in this configuration. Um, but you can imagine, and I, maybe I should have made another slide for this one, that when the earth is at a position in its orbit so that the moon is kind of within this center part of the orbit, then it will be able to um, eclipse the sun entirely. The other problem, like I mentioned before, is that the orbit is elliptical. And so sometimes the moon is a little bit farther or a little bit closer. So you don't always get a total solar eclipse. The other thing that I want to point out is there's a difference between an eclipse and other types of ways that one object in space can block another object. So the, um, the other two ways are called occultations and transits. And in an occultation, the larger object covers up the smaller object. So for example, if, um, if we were observing Venus and it was in the part of its orbit, like if it was behind the sun from our perspective, then we would say that the sun was occulting Venus. Meanwhile, if Venus was in the part of its orbit so that it was between us and the sun, then we could observe a Venus transit. And uh, you can actually observe Venus transits. Um, there was one several years ago and it's, it's kind of fun. You can project backwards the sun through a pair of binoculars and then you can watch on a, like project that on a piece of paper and then watch the, you know, the disc of the sun and see the shadow of Venus cross its surface, which is pretty cool.